bagpipes played Scotland the Brave, the crowds cheered for Scotland's new parliament, the children brandished Scotland's flag. But apart from the pageantry of a royal event, this was a day for popular patriotism. Sean Connery, an ardent nationalist, said it was the greatest day of his life. And for other guests and members of the new devolved parliament, it was less of a procession, more an informal stroll in the sun. The Queen travelled by carriage up the Royal Mile from Holyrood Palace, the route followed by past monarchs when they opened the old Scottish Parliament 300 years ago. Her progress was briefly disrupted by Irish Republican protesters who broke through the barriers but failed to reach the royal carriage. A specially commissioned fanfare greeted the monarch and the Scottish crown, first used at the coronation of Mary Queen of Scots in the 16th century. For the monarch, the formal business was to open the parliament but she began by praising the Scottish people. I have trust in the good judgment of the Scottish people. I have faith in your commitment to their service, and I am confident in the future of Scotland. I am pleased, therefore, now to declare the Scottish Parliament open, and in so doing, to present to you this newly commissioned mace, a modern embodiment of an ancient symbol of power legitimacy and the relationship between Parliament and Crown. Is there for honest poverty that hangs his head and all that? Then the Robert Burns' anthem to common humanity to follow the royal opening and reflecting that democratic spirit, Scotland's new First Minister. Today there is a new voice in the land, the voice of a democratic Parliament a voice to shape Scotland, a voice above all for the future. Then back outside and a parade of 1,600 children from all across Scotland as the monarch and Scotland's first minister looked on. A 21-gun salute from the ramparts of Edinburgh Castle, then low over the Scottish capital, a fly past by Concord and the Red Arrows. This evening in Edinburgh, there's still a party atmosphere outside the new parliament as Scotland's capital prepares to celebrate late into the night. But alongside the festivities, today brought a significant transfer of power to Scotland and a substantial change in the political makeup of the United Kingdom. 21 gun salute marked the Queen's departure from Holyrood Palace en route to the parliament building. Her journey disrupted though by anti union With a fanfare, the official opening ceremony began. The Parliament reconvened after 300 years. The settled will of the Scottish people. Today is a historic day for Scotland. It is our solemn duty in this chamber, with the eyes of the country upon us, to mark the point when this new Parliament assumes its full powers in the service of the Scottish people. Then let us pray that come it may, as come it will. It was a moving occasion. Burns' anthem to common humanity, prompting the MSPs for once to sing the same song. Among those enjoying the historic events, Sean Connery, Scotland's most famous son. The most important day of my life. I think I think it's the uh, the first step for a really marvelous future. 